What is going on guys welcome back to another video of chat application development series in android studio. In last video we have created chat activity and successfully created the chat room in our backend. So in this video we will implement the function of send message. So let's start that. So for sending the message first thing I need is I will go to send button. So send message button set on click listener use lambda for this here first I will check string message equals to message input I will take from message input to string dot trim if message dot is empty return from here if it is not empty then create send message to user and here we will pass message we are done with this get or create chat room model we can minimize this and let's create one more method that will be send message to user string message for this also we have to create a chat message model so that we can add that chat message collection over here in chat room we will have one chat collection inside that we will have number of chats so let's create a model chat message model so in this chat message model we will have private string message string sender id who has sent the message and at last timestamp so we'll need the timestamp when this message has been sent we'll create empty constructor first select none create all argument constructor and also generate getter and setter okay so we are done with chat message model we can go to chat activity now let's create chat message model from this message so we require chat message model chat message model equals to new chat message model where we will send message second parameter will be sender id sender is me firevisital dot current user id then third thing is timestamp dot now so it will create chat message model we will send it to firevisital but before that we have this chat room model also so here last message sender id we have to set and last message timestamp we have to set so before sending the message what i will do in chat room model i will set last message timestamp timestamp dot now and also I will do chat room model dot set last message sender ID that will be firebase util dot current user ID. So in this way we will set the chat room model data also. So I can copy from here how to set chat room model data and paste it here. So it will set this chat room model again to the chat room reference. So we are done with chat room now we have to work on chat message model so for this also i will create one method in firebase util that will be get chat room message reference which will be collection reference which will take the chat room id we can directly call this chat room reference get chat room reference chat room id dot collection and collection will be chats so in the chats collection of this chat room we will add the messages so let's go to chat activity now so here what we will do firebase util dot get chat message reference chat room id dot add chat message model we will send this and we will add an complete listener so on complete listener once we successfully send the message if task dot is successful we will just clear the message from the edit text so message input message input dot set text will add empty string to that message so this will send the message to the database let's run it and test it either message sending is working or not here test so we have test user one click on that so we have we don't have any message over here as soon as i send the message hi as you can see message is cleared that means task is successful if i go to the database 
you can see chats collection first we have this last message sender id also last message timestamp also updated and we have this chats collection if you click on that there is a collection of chats so there is one chat that is hi sender id and timestamp is there so if i send another message over here how are you as soon as i send this message you can see over here we have second message that is how are you both are sent by me that's why my id is there now again if you send message i am i am sending message third time click on send so we have this third message and last timestamp is also updated every time in this way you can send the message to the other user so if i log out from this application like i will uninstall this first i'll rerun the application i will log in with the test user 1 so if i search for the user since test user 2 has already chatted with me that means there is a chat between test user 1 and test user 2 if i click on that it will open this but we don't see any new chat room over here because we have this chat room anybody has logged in so here chats we have three messages let me send the message from now chat user 1 hi user 1 i am good if i send the message now you will see here there is fourth message this one is the new message so sender id is test user 1 so previously it was sender id test user 2 now it is sender id is test user 1 so in this way these two are chatting with each other in this chat room model so in next video we will display all the chat message in a recycler view so that immediately we will send the message we can see over here so thank you for watching this video if you enjoyed this video please hit the like button if you have any doubts and queries please comment below i will reply for you don't forget to hit the subscribe button before going see you in the next video Bye bye